next time we will have representatives from the graduating class with the word of meditation for today to remind us of the goodness and faithfulness of God. Yes, you can step forward. Philippians 4, verse 13. Empowered by faith, our hearts sing. No spirit of fear, but power and might. 2 Timothy 1, verse 7. We excel in good works, shining so bright. Our light is not hidden, it shines for all. Matthew 5, verse 14. A city on a hill, standing tall, God's gift and calling. things normal but we do things outstanding so can I hear the graduates shout out your theme alright I know that alright that was just a few you may be seated everyone that is still standing thank you Special welcome is coming but graduations are one of the first big milestones in a person's life would you agree depending on the school school you name it but you are in high school and today you are celebrating a milestone. So no matter what grade the graduate in your life is completing, it is indeed a momentous occasion. And today we are here celebrating with you graduates under the theme, Excellence Elevates, No Boundaries, No Limits. And I heard someone say the only person that can stop you is you. You believe that? So it means that there is no limit, there is no boundaries, just go for the goal that you have set. I want to recognize the platform party at this time. We have our principal, of course, Mrs. Maxine Evans. I want everybody just go ahead and let us celebrate the captain of the ship. Come on. The club sound too minimal. You, know. you can't do better than that, Green Island. Wonderful. We recognize you, Mrs. Evans. And also, we have Mrs. JP, Chairman, Board of Governors. I want to recognize you as well. Not sure if our guest speaker is here as yet, but uh, okay. Want to recognize you, Mr. Howen Blacker Ellis. Okay. Bless the Lord. And of course, we want to recognize Bishop Dennis, who have prayed earlier. And uh, yes, go ahead and clap. I am seeing Mr. Dawes, who is one of the representatives on the school board. And also, I'm seeing one of my good friends, Mrs. Hay. God bless you. It's good to have you all. And how can I forget the theme that helped to make this day what it is? Our teachers, come on, put your hands together for Green Island High School. Bless the name of the Lord. And of course, our vice principal, Mr. Michael McIntosh, wonderful, humble man of God. Clap him. Show your appreciation. And also, Mrs. Green, God bless you at this time. <laughs> My recognition of these persons here. So coming to us to allow you to feel more welcome is the Visual and Performing Arts Department who will officially welcome you with their level of creativity, energy, and their vibrance. So put your hands together as they come to allow you to feel more welcome. 
class of 2024 a shining star. 55 years strong, we stand today to honor our graduates in the most pompous way. Welcome, Dr. Pinnock, with wisdom and grace. So grand, uh oh. Mr. Hamilton, our leader, with a heart so expanded. Mrs. Evans, our principal, with a great smile so bright. Mr. Ellis, our guest speaker, with jokes so tight. Miss Davis, our parliamentary star, so fine. Counselor Swell, our counselor. Imnodea. Neither Miss Davis. Teachers. Parents. Friends. We welcome thee to this grand spectacle of absurdity. That's right. Laughter and cheer we'll have in store as we celebrate the best graduation evermore. Oh, graduates. Oh, graduates. So, so brave and true. true. So, so five to tier food. And SBS too. That's right. With academic prowess. Artistic flair. They made it true and laughter and care. So sit back, relax, and, and enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride as, as we show you the why way. Why Island High School is it's Jamaica's pride. pride. With rhymes and laughter. We'll make, make you smile and prove our school, school is worth your while. Hear me, hear me, let the trumpet sound! For the class of 2024 is about, about to expand. With pomp and circumstance, we'll make, make some noise for the, the most fantastic, fantastic graduation with our sword joys. joys. Let the laughter echo, let the cheers resound. For Green, Green Island, Island High, High School, School is, is the best we've found. found. So sit back, relax, relax and enjoy, enjoy the show. For the graduation, graduation ceremony is, is one, one to know. We we'll make, make you laugh. laugh. We, we make you cheer, for the class of 2024 is finally here! <laughs> Some important persons here who have served the education system and also stakeholders for um, for Green Island High School. And the very first greeting that we'll have is JP, which is our board chairman. Put your hands together for him as he comes. Good morning. Normally, I would start by recognizing the most significant persons by name. But, I, but after having listened to the welcome such an awesome welcome. Permit me to say, all protocols observed. Permit me to say, all protocols observed. Good morning again, everybody. Everybody seems to be sleeping. Contact those persons who died during, during burial. So we have some doppies here. Happy to have you. You know, glorious and wonderful time when we have graduation. It's a time when students are most excited, when they are most ready to take on the world. And we should have had our graduation a few weeks ago. The other day that if my wife had a name by, called Beryl, I would change the name or divorce her. I don't like Beryl. Anybody here named Beryl? Okay, thank the Lord. Well, I am so happy that Beryl is moment of graduation but burial could not cancel graduation. Graduates, today is your day to shine and to give thanks and give God all the glory and the praise. I want you to shine today. Don't let any cloud hold you down. And I want to let you understand that there are persons, even in your midst, who will tell you that you can't make it. That you are going to fail. That you can't be the best person Hanover has produced. Anybody says that to you, tell that person that he is a liar. And the truth is not in him. And if your classmate tells you that you can't be the next prime minister, tell your classmate that he or she is a liar because you can be the best. Nobody graduates 
can hold you down. Nobody can prevent you from achieving greatness but yourself. And so today, on behalf of the Board of Governors, my Vice Chair and other members of the Board, I just want to advise you that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. Of the things that happen to you and 90% of you react to these things. You cannot change the course of the wind, but you can adjust your sail to arrive safely at your destination. So any obstacle that is thrown at you, whatever stands in your way, kick it down, knock down the door, and fight hard to accomplish what you know lies within you. I want you to understand that none of us can achieve success. None of us have gotten where we are by simply hoping or wishing for something good to happen. We have gotten where we are because we were determined to work hard to achieve our goals and our objectives. Guardians, you can't succeed if you don't set goals and are prepared to pay the price. Hard work in sleepless nights in sweat and in tears at times. Set a goal. I did. Don't be afraid of failure. Because failure is not final. Failure is not fatal. And I can assure you that some of the greatest achievers in this world are those persons who persevered after the greatest mistakes or the greatest failures in their lives. When you fall down, I am going to challenge you today to get up, brush yourselves off, and to continue the journey. I want you graduates today to say, notwithstanding where I am coming from, notwithstanding the difficulties I have faced, notwithstanding the ineptitude of my friends and my family members, notwithstanding the poverty-stricken environment that I'm coming from, I am resolving that today I am going to be a shining star in Jamaica and the rest of the world. Graduates, are you promising me today that you will be the best that you can be? Yes. Graduates, yes. I want you therefore to strive for excellence. And when you fall, pick up the pieces and continue the journey. I want you to give your teachers a big round of applause for sacrificing and being there for you when the going was tough. And together one more time and big up your parents and guardians who sacrificed for you to be where you are today. And as I close, I want to challenge the parents and guardians who are here. Don't give up on your children. Even if they fail, don't give up on them. Keep, get up. I am going to be the wind beneath your wings because you can succeed. Keep on fighting for them because indeed better days are coming for them. Graduates, keep on fighting. Excellence elevates. And where there is excellence, there are no boundaries. There are indeed no limits. At this time, I am going to ask primarily our graduating class to give our principal, Mrs. Maxine Evans, a very big round of applause because tomorrow she'll be celebrating her birthday. She'll be 16 tomorrow. She'll be 16 tomorrow. And so finally, on behalf of the Board of Governors, I want to wish you well. I want to wish you God's blessing. And whatever you are doing, class of 2024, please put God in the midst of it and you will succeed. God bless you. Enjoy life. Swim, fly, soar, and just enjoy life. Feeling hot, hot, hot. You know that song? Feeling hot, hot, hot. I won't be telling I'm representing our member of parliament, Miss Tamika Davis.
care and all protocols observed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Hamilton. If Miss Davis was here with you and she sends her apologies, she would say to you, and I'm just going to basically repeat what is written here. Experience elevates no boundaries, no limits. The former first lady of the United States, Michelle Obama, what's her favorite phrase? When they go, when they go, you go, takes excellence. Don't you agree? Excellence of what? Of what? Discipline? What else? Courage? What else? Consistency? What else? I'm sorry? Sacrifice? Discipline? Courage of thought? Courage of speech? Remember, everything you speak must be in the form of excellence. Everything you eat must be in the form of excellence. Everything that you are going to get into, as the board manager says, the chairman just says, everything that you do must be in the form of excellence. Don't let anyone tell you it can't be done. I am a product of the Green Island High School. I came here back in the 70s. Would you believe that? And I, I sat right here where you are for many of our concerts and a number of just fantastic memories here for me. So I'm happy to be here. And Miss Davis would say to you, keep excellence alive. It is important. You can be anything you want and do anything you want as long as you are doing it with excellence, attitude, your walk, your talk, your speak, right? Everything you do must be in the form of excellence. And let me end by saying, no boundaries, no limits. Don't ever tell yourself it can't be done. It can be done. Believe in yourself, trust yourself, love yourself, and just keep right on going. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Mrs. Hay. Do we have the councillor here for the Green Island Division? Mr. Marvel Swell? Okay, so we move right along. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and proud stakeholders, we express our heartfelt gratitude for your support and guidance. Green Island High School continues to excel in the performing arts. And this year's achievements in popular dance are a testament to our students' hard work and dedication. With two national gold medals in this category, we are proud to showcase our students' talents once again. Are you ready for this? All right, and now it's our pleasure to present the Performing Arts Society's Praise Dance, titled Ancestral Praise. Come on, put your hands together for them as they get ready to come. This mesmerizing performance. Wait in the water. Oh, oh. 
department. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the program when we need to sit back, relax, and uh, listen to our captain of the ship, our principal who has steered the Green Island High School to Dean Humphrey Evans is a phenomenal woman anchored in the love of God and dedicated to men of our students, her strong leadership, vision, and the commitment to excellence have made our institution a beacon of hope and a shining example of what can be achieved through hard work, dedication, determination, and faith. Please join me in welcoming our principal, Maxine Humphrey Evans, as she shares her address with us today. Come on, Green Island, go ahead and put your hands together for our principal. Thanks. Thanks. And God, I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. Thanks. Mrs. Walcott Houghton, Mr. Vice Chairman, Mr. Leroy Dawes, JP, and other members of the board, guest speaker, Blacker Ellis, esteemed members of faculty and staff, proud parents, guardians and other relatives, other distinguished guests. I would have seen principals and the past principals of this institution and others. Student leaders, including prefects, students, counselors, and cadets. And the reason we are all here the graduating class of 2024, good morning. good morning. Graduating class of 2024, good morning. Good morning. Oh, that sounds better. To God be all the glory for his mercies endureth forever. To him who navigated the, our plans with the passage of hurricane burial. Oh Lord. Our Lord, how excellent is thy name. Your mercies endure forever. Graduates, today we gather to celebrate a remarkable milestone in your lives. As your principal, I am honored to address you on this significant day, a day that marks the culmination of years of hard work dedication, struggles, and what a journey it was. We celebrate your individual and collective growths. What a beautiful garden of minds. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Members of the Board of Management, faculty and staff, Oh, what excellence we see in our youth. 250 plus students into the wider world. Ladies and gentlemen, as we stand on the threshold, 
Because whilst you leave us students, graduates, we are taking on new students come September. New members, community members, teachers, classmates, and schoolmates. Each of you has traversed the challenges, embraced the opportunities, and grown in ways that are truly commendable here at Green Island High. Over the past years, especially during COVID-19, beyond, can I tell you that you demonstrated resilience, perseverance, you have faced major academic rigor, such as online classes. You have engaged in extracurricular activities, such as sports day in grades 10 and 11. Who remembers that? And forged friendships that will last a lifetime.